Yes. Yes, Mr. President. No, I'm not asking for your help, but I'm telling you that you've got to do something. All right, we'll talk about it on... Friday. Friday. Listen, Mr. President, why don't we bury the hatchet and you come here with Mrs. Roosevelt for supper on Christmas Eve? You will? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. President. Grace, find out what Democrats eat. Yes, sir. A package from Tiffany's. Um, arrived this morning, sir. All right, I'm going to give to her and then tell her that I want to adopt her. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Get her down here. Yes, sir. Hello. Annie, can we have a man-to-man -man talk? You're sending me back to the orphanage, right? Of course not. Annie, I was born into a very poor family, and both my parents died before I was ten. So I made a promise to myself. Someday, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very rich. That was a good idea. But lately I've realized something. No matter how much money you've got, if you have no one to share your life with, if you're alone, then you might as well be broke. I was in Tiffany's yesterday, and I and I picked this up for you. <laughs> Me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Warbucks. Ah, oh, gee. It's a silver locket, Annie. I noticed that old brogan one that you always wear, and I said to myself, I'm going to get that kid a nice new locket. Here, we'll just take off this old one. And... No! I don't want a new one. Annie, what is it? This locket. My mother and father left it when they left me at the orphanage, and a note, too. I know I'm real lucky being here with you for Christmas and all, but the one thing I want in all the world is to find my parents and be like other kids with folks around. <laughs> uh, it, it, it'll be all right. I'll find them. Yeah, I'll find your parents for you. Shh, shh. Mr. Warbucks will find your mother and father, Annie. If he has to put everyone in his organization on the job, if he has to pull every political string there is to pull. Up to and including the White House. Annie, give me your locket. But, Mr. Warbucks... I understand, but it could be our best clue. We'll have the FBI trace it and find out who bought it. Okay. And maybe we should have my note, too. You watch, Annie. You may be meeting your mother and father within a couple of days. Really? Really. Oh, boy! I gotta go write a letter to the kids about this! Coast to coast, nationwide search for Annie's parents. 
Furthermore, I have offered a certified check for $50,000 to anyone who can prove that they are Annie's parents. Wow! So, Annie's parents, if you're listening in, write to Oliver Warbucks to care of this station. Thank you, Oliver Warbucks. Thank you, Bernie Lee. Well, I see by the old clock on the wall that our another our Thursday night get together has gone by faster than you could say, oxidant. Yes, this is your old softy, Mrs. Healy's boy, Bert, saying until next week, same time, same station, good night. on Annie to help us pull this thing off. What's in it for me? Three-way split. Half. Half? Half. All right, 25 grand each. We gotta get the kids, get the money, and get out of town. Kids the problem. What will we do with her afterward? No problem. When I want something to disappear, it disappears. For good. We get the kid, we blow this crummy town, and then Lil' Me will meet ya. Where? Oh yeah, 